In this video, we are going to see the file transfer using Trias Cada IEC 60870-5101 servers and client simulator. Select the shortcut icon IEC 60870-5101 server simulator. This, just click the add server to create a new server mode to configure the protocol com communication parameters. In the communication parameters, first the serial port number is configured as 1. In the data link is configured as unbalanced mode. In the data link address is 1. Next, the portal number of station is 1 and the station address is set as 1. Now, enable the file transfer. Enable the file transfer to true. Then Select the file transfer directory path. For that, search the location for the new folder and click it and create your new folder in the selected path. Create a new folder. Named it as server DIR. And now set the path for the file transfer. Okay. Just click the selector, create it, then keep it. And then Search the created folder and make sure that the directory path has been correct or not. Then do OK. Now the directory path has set. Then we move to the configuration window in the add a new row and choose the group list box in the Select the measure short float and the event type ID is MMATF1 and the starting ID is 100 and the range is 1. Let's add another row in the length of this row and select the set point on our float value and the type ID is CSAPC1. And the starting value is 1, 1, 2, and the range is 1. And check the control model configuration. This direct path operate and click load configuration. Then we move to the data object window. In that, select the Type ID CACTC1 and the map and let check the map checkbox and get the map button. Then we can view the mapped point IOS values have been changed. Then now start Start the communication, can move the traffic. Now, now the server is ready to communicate for the point transfer. Next process is to select the shortcut icon IEC 60 client simulator. And 
just click add client and create a new client load in the to configure the protocol parameters in the data link mode is configured as unbalanced mode and the serial port number is configured as 2 and the data link address is set as 1 and the total number of station is set as 1 and the station address is 1 the file transfer to true and for the file transfer directory path we must create the new folder in the prefer location just create a new folder and name it as plan D and now and move to the client simulator set the path for the directory select the folder and check the directory name is correct and do ok now the directory path has been set if you move to the configuration window and then add a new choose the group plus box and let me show short code select the type id as mmtf1 and starting on 100 and the range is 1 next add another row and the group this box select the Set one command for full value and the type ID C is CTC1 and starting in 100 and the range is 1 and the color check the control model is set selected as direct object. Now click the load configuration. Let's move to the data object window and then view the quality bits. Now start the communication start the communication and set the value for the type ID. Select the point command and the value value. Minus one, two, three, one, four, five, six. And click the same set on float command. And the command is success. Now you can view the value. View the value that have been changed because in the server mode server side we have mapped the control point at the same time you can view the server side the, the value has been changed let's move to the client simulator now the server is ready to communicate client is ready to for the file transfer. Now we are going to focus on file transfer. Choose the already created server directory path. So some files in the directory and rename them and rename this and 
Then before the file transfer, check the client DNR folder and there is no file. Then we move to the client submitter in the data object window. I click the type ID CSVTC1. Do the station command here. Select the directory read and click directory read. It shows the file name, size of the file, time, date, and number of files to be transferred. And select the station command and then select the file read. Do the file name to be transferred in the file read. Now the file has been transferred. The file is read success. Now in the client directory, the folder has been transferred. Now we can do the file. Finding 1024, the file has been transferred using 101 protocol com communication. Thus, the file has been transferred. Thank you for watching this 101 protocol simulator for file transfer.